I will do bit much. Afternoon, everybody. I hope you're all well. Um, so Isaac and Ayla has been with um, Tim for the past three days. Uh, Tim took them to England to see his sister. So I hope they're having fun. They return tomorrow. I think today I am going to upload my announcement video, and I feel pretty good about it. It's been really nice keeping it to myself, but it's gonna feel really good just putting it there and just talking normally as I would um, about it to my family and friends. So I just uploaded my video announcing that I'm getting a tummy tuck. For your support. I knew you guys would be supportive <laughs> and I knew you guys would be understanding. But it's just, <laughs> it's just when you read each and every individual comment. <laughs> oh, I need to get in the <laughs> Overwhelmed with your love. <laughs> Thank you. It has been a day since I uploaded the good news of you all that I am getting abdominoplasty and um, aka a tummy tuck. And um, you know, when I first uploaded it, I was a bit nervous, but I felt good about it. I was really excited about it. It was something that I was initially I wanted to keep for myself because. I wanted to do something for myself so badly at the beginning of this year. So I thought part of that was to keep it for me, you know, I've shared so many parts of my life out there. So I thought this is for me. And then as time went on, you know, I was watching a bunch of Tommy Talk videos and watching other people's experiences and their advice. And I was really grateful for it. There were nights where I couldn't sleep at night because I, I felt worried and sick. Um, because the procedure um, is invasive and it scared me and watching the videos especially my friend Gina um, it really reassured me you know that these women they these women went through it and I could see the joy in their faces especially because of my derma rolling video which went viral a little while back I guess I didn't want to mislead people to think, you know, derma rolling was going to transform my stomach like that. So, um, you know, it, it felt right. And I knew you guys would be supportive, but I, I guess seeing each comment individually, so packed full of love and support was just a lot for me. And, you know, I, I was on and off crying all yesterday. So I think I needed like a whole day just so I can be more clear of my thoughts and express it. And, you know, I didn't expect to hear, Bubs, you're brave for doing this. I didn't expect to hear, you deserve to be happy. Like, I, I guess in my head, like, you know, I knew these things, but being told this just made me realize just how much I needed the encouragement. I feel so uplifted and I feel so supported. I feel like self-love, it goes in two ways. Self-love is accepting and loving yourself. Self-love is also doing something that makes you happy. They come hand in hand and it's all about balance and it depends on certain seasons in your life. Self-love is different for everybody. Self-love is doing something that's good for you. When you go through pregnancy and give birth, there's pain in it, but you get something back. And this procedure is gonna involve pain. I feel like I'm gonna get peace of myself again. So thank you for being so supportive and I'm, just, I'm so glad I can share this journey with you all. What stopped me back then was I was scared of the pain and after going through <laughs> what feels like hell and back I'm not scared of this anymore like I feel like going through tummy tuck is gonna be like nothing and the recovery time was another big issue that I felt like I didn't deserve to have this time off like I can't take time off but now I'm like no I deserve that I definitely looked around I see my skin and I'm thankful, you know, my belly has 
served its purpose so well and I'm grateful but you know this skin I don't have to live with it anymore if I can do something about it I said back then that my skin reminded me how strong my body is how capable and how lucky I am for my two babies but you know what I've realized that I don't need my skin to remind me that I know these things already so if there's anyone out there and this is something you thought about whether it's a tummy tuck breast augmentation rhinoplasty or whatever it is Botox fillers it's your life you're the one living it do whatever makes you happy if you're not hurting anyone else's feeling you feel free to celebrate doing whatever makes you happy you're beautiful with and without these things you're beautiful because of your kindness because of your talents how you treat other people your character as long as you do your research and know that having surgery doesn't mean all your problems will be solved still playing our doll house it's almost nine o'clock ayla ayla do you want to brush your teeth and get ready for bed no. <laughs> well what part of your birthday was your favorite okay. oh did you put the stills yourself ayla yeah. <laughs> they belong in the bathroom damn like that house she's a very lucky girl <laughs> he just hung me I love you. I love you. I love you too. I will fix your hair. Positive vibes. Today is International Self Care Day. I hope you're all very, very well. I hope you are taking care of yourselves and doing something awesome and positive to inspire yourself and other people to take care and de stress. It's like a ball of sunshine. <laughs> Callie is one of the very first ones to find out about my tummy tuck and he knows that after my surgery it will be several weeks before I can work out again and it will be a slow build up so before my operation we made sure to get me in as good physique as possible. I'm really thankful for Kyle. Kyle was here shortly after I had Ayla and he's continued to train with me and he's been here through my ups and downs and throughout this transformation he's also going to be here for me and I just feel like I have the best trainer ever. Three, keep it going. Four, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Last but not least, I want to thank all of you. You guys have been here throughout my highest and lows and have just been supporting me all the way through. And I'm so thankful and I'm glad I can share the next chapter with you all. Okay. <laughs> Tonight, baby. All right, go. Break away again. I'm a little butterfly. I have come to realize that life is a lot like training. It can be very hard. Everything's heavy. You don't want to do this. But the more you work at it. The more you work at your muscle, the stronger it gets. And it's just like life. Every hardship is just a chance for you to grow stronger and build character. Here's to being strong together and continuing to inspiring each other to be the best that we can be. He has even more energy today, guys, for some reason. I blame the shirt. 